hey y'all welcome back this is another lock video on how i retwist locks only this time i will be using the comb method with murray's locking gel so this client has starter locks that i began a month before this first retwist I did shampoo her hair before starting the retwist and I was very pleased to see that none of her locks actually unraveled. So this video is pretty much a just look and learn. I won't do much talking on this video. I'm going to step away and let you all just focus on the hand movements, calm manipulations to see how I do it. And this is what works for me. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Raven Cherokee Styles. And when you look this name up, it might pop up um, as Raven Cherokee Hair, which is another account that you can follow if you choose. But Raven Cherokee Styles is my main account. So when I retwist with the comb, I do this a lot on the starter locks. So I pretty much just get a good grip within that lock. I make sure to not go all the way down and comb out the curl, but I get a good grip and just pretty much twist. And sometimes I do have to use my fingers like I am now to make sure I grip those little hairs that I were not able was not able to grip with the comb. But a lot of work is pretty much just done with the comb. I have so many people who tell me that this is a horror technique for them to pick up. And I'm like, wait, hold on. How? Wait, what? It's just so easy. All you're doing is using that comb, picking that lock up, getting a good grip, and twisting. I mean, it's pretty simple in my eyes. See, rotation, rotation, rotation. Also, all her locks are going one direction. I like to be uniformed in my locks. Um, maybe that matters to some people. Maybe it won't matter to some people. But I'm right-handed, and it's pretty much just easier for me to twist to the right and do the retwist to the right, start the locks going to the right. That's just how I go. The only time I will retwist to the left is when someone went to somebody else and they're coming to me for a retwist. And I'm like, oh man, 
whoever you went to must have been left-handed these locks are going to the left but i will just continue to do what that previous stylist was doing which was to the left although i hate it i prefer the right Look at her checking out that design essential scalp tonic. I told y'all that product is a beast. I honestly love when people come to me to begin their locks. Um, I do have like a very, very low percentage of people who will come to me to begin them and then they will maintain. But I absolutely love when I start them and maintain because I'm a perfectionist when it comes to hairstyles. I need clear partings, clean partings. And as you can see, like her parts look very, like they look very good. And some people, some stylists, whether they are professional or unprofessional, licensed or unlicensed, some people don't care about parts that much. And I think parts like is what pretty much makes the style, like certain styles. Like if those parts are raggedy, it just throws off the entire style. But even though she has starter locks, like I can already imagine how these will look once they are fully locked. And when it comes to doing the styles, like it's going to be popping, like she's going to be fine.
So we have arrived to the end and now it's time for her to go under the dryer, which is just over to the left. I have a dryer in my room, so she's going to get up and move over there. Fully dry and we can remove the clips and there she has it a fresh retwist lock maintenance on her starter locks and as i previously stated this is her first retwist after i started these a month ago So I don't like the crunchy look after their hair is fully dry. So sometimes I like to go in with either setting lotion or mousse and just rub it through their hair. Not like saturate it to the point where it's dripping wet, but just a little something to loosen the hair up and give it a little movement so it's just not crispy and it works every time. I'm finishing with the tropical root stimulate and growth oil which is also great for locks and normally in stores you can find it near other products that are for locks this is the end i hope y'all were able to pick up a couple of tips to help you when it comes to retwisting and maintaining your locks with a comb if you didn't pick up two or three tips i hope you picked up at least one thanks for watching